Good morning. Welcome to my learning how production of how to make potting mix for Hoyas. This is the mix that I use on 95% of my Hoyas. It's far from an exact science, um, so the proportions are always going to be a little bit off. I don't measure all this stuff up, but I can give you a rough estimate of what I use. First, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. This is the ingredient I use the most of. This is number four sponge rock or perlite. I modified this bucket so that um, I could rinse the dust out of this because it's terribly dusty stuff. Uh, on the bottom you will see that I drilled about a hundred holes in the bottom of this bucket and I rinsed the heck out of it to try to get rid of as much dust as possible. So this is the ingredient I use the most of. Probably two parts of this to one part of the rest of the ingredients. This, um, this ingredient right here, this is fine orchid bark. Beautiful stuff, comes from a redwood tree. All organic, just wonderful um, stuff. This is a new ingredient that I'm using in lieu of as much of this bark. This is tree fern fiber. Comes from the tree fern. It's, it's shredded. It's little, it looks like little crunchy sticks, but uh, what I like about this is it is virtually indestructible and does not break down the way that orchid bark does. This stuff just doesn't want to rot, so it adds a lot of aeration to your mix. To this, I bind it all together with a peat-based potting mix. I happen to use Pro Mix, but there are many good uh, different peat-based uh, potting mixes around. So this, I use just enough to sort of hold the whole thing together and retain just enough moisture so that you don't hold too much and rot the roots, but you hold enough so it doesn't uh, dry out as quickly. My minor ingredients that I add to this mix um, charcoal. I have two different types here. This is extra fine, which is more or less of a powder. I'll add a little bit of that. And this one here is number two charcoal, which are is great big chunks. Plants seem to really love this charcoal. You, I, I, I don't really measure it out, but I add enough in that I like the way that it looks and handles and, and it'll help draw out any potential poisons or salts that are in your your mix and it seems to work really well. This is a pelletized lime which I add just a handful to the mix. I'm only doing that on the off chance that this stuff will break down and acidify over time. Not really sure if it's necessary but I've been using it for quite a while and it hasn't seemed to uh, hurt anything that I've grown. So I'm going to start mixing this up. So to this I've already added one bucket of, of perlite and I'm going to add a couple of We'll mix these in a little bit at a time. I'm going to add a shovel full of peat-based potting mix. Stir that around a little bit. Shovel. To that, we will add some of this fine bark. A little bit of tree fern fiber. Also kind of dusty, uh, dusty, but anyway, that's what you have to put up with. You stir this up the best that you can. This is a new way that I'm mixing up a large quantity at this a time at a time. I'm constantly running out of this mix, and after a while, you kind of get tired of it. Uh, to this. I will add a little bit of powdered charcoal. Terribly dusty. A little bit of chunk charcoal. Add some more sponge rock. Stir it up a little. It's looking good and airy. This is the kind of mix that I like. To this, we'll add another shovel full.
Hi, welcome back to part two of how to mix potting soil for your Hoyas. Now, a word of warning, when you go to film a little video like this, make sure that all your ingredients can fit into the size container that you brought out. So this got over full and it kind of was a disaster. So I put it into a bigger container of which I strapped this down and I spun it all over the lawn like so. So this had a really good mixing. And now we're going to take a look at the finished product. Hopefully this will be enough to last me for six months or so. Seems like I go through a tremendous amount of this, this soil. There. That is some beautiful looking potting mix. All the ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Just looks beautiful. You can see the little bits of tree fern fiber, bark, perlite, all held together with the peat based potting mix and a little bit of charcoal and sprinkled lime in there for good measure and hopefully the Hoyas will be as happy with this mix as I am. Okay, thank you for watching this learning how production of how to mix your potting mix for Ain't you kinda glad, ain't you kinda gay when you hear me say I love you? Tell me, baby, ain't ya? Don't you kind of miss that little bit of bliss when I hold the kiss I give you? Tell me, baby, don't you?